I'm Camille from Camille's Prime Ideas, and today I have a singing time lesson planned for teaching the primary song, Tell Me Dear Lord. Now, this primary song is a little lesser well-known, so if you're not very familiar with it, I highly suggest you learn it before you try to teach it. And you can do this by listening to it while you're in your car driving, or doing some dishes, or just being, just going about your daily life, whatever you have going on. So that's kind of what I've been doing to kind of learn this a little better because I'm not really familiar with it and I cannot teach what I don't know. So that said, make sure you know this song. That's the first prep before any of this other stuff that I have going on here. Okay, so to teach this in singing time, I recommend you create some little prayer puppets. Now I have these simple little puppets that I made using some extra fabric and sewed them real quickly. But if you don't have extra fabric and sewing machine, don't worry. You can easily just get some felt squares at like Walmart and glue around the edges. And then you can just glue on the head and then I have a little prayer poem on the back. Um, really easy and you don't have to go all out, but they're just really kind of fun for this activity. Okay, so to introduce the song, you're going to be reading the little prayer puppet and having the puppets interact with each other. So it says, some people talk face to face and then you have them bow to each other. And when they can't talk face to face, they sometimes talk on the telephone. So you're gonna bring your thumbs up to the head. They're talking on their phone. This looks like a common practice in our community, <laughs> our culture today, right? And when they can't talk face to face, or talk on the telephone, they can write a letter. So we're gonna make the puppets write a letter with your thumb. But when we talk to Heavenly Father, we don't talk face to face. And we don't talk on the telephone. And we don't write letters. Instead, we pray. When we pray, we fold our arms and bow our heads. So then you can go and ask the kids, you know, go through. So how do we talk to Heavenly Father? And they should all know this answer. We pray. All right. So that's just a great quick introductory on prayer. And if you want, you can repeat and have a couple kids come up and hold the puppet and do the actions to the poem. Or we can also have a child come up and take a puppet and they can lead the music while you and the teacher sing the song. Now, you know, if you know me, you know that I love to post the words over the binder, especially to an unfamiliar song like this. Um, you can access this and the puppets on my website using the link below. You can find all that. Okay, so to introduce the song, well, we've already introduced the song. You're going to Sing the song as you gradually put up pictures on the board. So I would recommend singing the whole thing through and have the children listen for the word pray and have them fold their arms when they hear the word pray. Tell me, dear Lord, in thine own way I pray. And then listening for the pray. All right, and I would probably just do the first verse with that. So that's just, and you want teachers and the kids can sing along or they can just listen, fold their arms every time that they hear the word pray, and I think it's just once it is. Okay, so after they've at least heard a broad overview of the song, then we're gonna start piecing it apart using these gospel art book and gospel art kit pictures. Um, each picture represents a phrase, and then we'll have an associated action to do with each picture. So Jesus and Gethsemane, this goes with, tell me, dear Lord, in thine own way I pray. So you can, and I hung all these up, just to save time, but you'll want to hang up one at a time. So tell me, dear Lord, in thine own way I pray. So then the actions that go with this one is you're gonna to point to your mouth for tell. Tell me, dear Lord, in thine own way I pray. And then we're going to fold our arms. So then you can sing that section. And if you want, you could have children come up and hold a puppet for each phrase, just while we're learning, just if someone's wanting to turn or whatever in between, if you want. Totally optional. Okay, and then we're just going to add on. Oh, and then you can also just describe the picture, what's going on in this picture. Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane. He's communicating with Heavenly Father. He's praying. All right, so the next one is Daniel refusing the king's meat. 
what thou wouldst have me say and do today. So Daniel was doing what the Lord wanted. And the action for that is to question for what? What thou wouldst have me do and say. Do and say today. All right. So, and if you want, you could also write the actions on the board because I kind of, I need a reminder. So we're going to do our mouth here for tell. Tell me, dear Lord, or you can do this too. Tell me, dear Lord, in thine own way, I pray. And if you really want it, especially with the older kids, have them come up with the actions because they love to tell you what to do, <laughs> at least in my experience. Okay, so for Daniel and the lion's den, or sorry, Daniel refusing the king's meat, we're going to question for what? And then um, do and say today. So we've got our mouth again. So what? Thou wouldst have me say and say and do today. Okay, the next one, and then you'll add on. So you'll sing this, and then you'll sing this. And if you want, you could even bring out the puppets. And you could lead the music, or you could call on a child to come up and lead the music. You'd have two kids come up, a boy and a girl, um, to come and lead as we're singing those phrases. You can, you know, whatever they want, if they want to turn. And good singers always get turns, right? Okay, so then keep going. The Sermon on the Mount, which is teach me to know and love thy will, O Lord. All right, so teach me to know. So we're going to point to our head. Teach me to know thy and love. And we're going to do love and love thy will, O Lord. Okay, that's my heart. <laughs> Go for easy. Okay, the next one is Joseph Smith's reading the Bible. Oh, I didn't talk about the Sermon on the Mount. This is Jesus teaching, obviously. I guess it's pretty clear. Okay, so the next one, Joseph Smith is reading the Bible, which is, help me to understand thy loving word. Joseph later prayed for understanding. It took action on his part to understand the will of the Lord. So for that action, we're going to point to our head for understand, so to know something or understand it. And they're going to point to our mouth for our word. And I think mouth, I'm, I'm going to have us cup because it's just a little, a little more fun. So we're going to do our head to understand. And then our mouth again. You see my chicken scratch? <laughs> okay, so then we've got next we have Lehi and the Leahona. Can you see that? Lehi and the Lehona, I would be guided by thy loving hand. Okay, so we're going to show our hands guided by our thy loving hand. So the Lehona was acted as a guide. Man, don't you wish you could have a Lehona today? I sure do. But but we're still going, we are still able to be guided by Heavenly Father's hand. So we're gonna show our hands for that one. There's only one action on this. Okay. And then next we've got Jesus with Mary and Martha would hear thy voice, obey thy blessed command. So Mary and Martha heard the voice of Jesus. They heard it. So we are going to cup our ears because they heard it. All right, we're moving along here. And then, like I said, eat after each phrase, we're going to be adding on, adding on, adding on. And if you want, again, bring out the puppets. Either you lead the music with the, with the puppets or call on a child to come and come and lead the music. Whatever is more feasible with your primary. I know with mine, we've got about 30 kids, and it's kind of just not everyone's going to turn. It takes too long. So I would probably just lead the music and maybe lead it with some gusto just to be kind of, just to make it fun. Okay, and then and maybe even have the puppets do some of the actions, you know, to their mouth and make them pray. And then they can question, you can try um, to know and their hearts. Anyway, show their hands and cut their ears. So you can have the puppets do all the actions as well. Okay, where were we? Jesus healing the blind man. And this goes with each moment just to know that thou art near. So Jesus was there for the blind man and he's there for all of us as well. Maybe not physically like the blind man but he is still there. That doesn't mean he's um, not far away. He's always close. And we're going to clasp our hands near our chest because if something is dear and close, you want to hold it close. Near your chest, so it's near. 
And then this last picture is David and Goliath. Will strength impart and banish every fear? So with strength, let's do strength with strength. So throw, show your muscles. I'll just write strength because I know they're going to, if I write muscles on there, the kids are going to sing it. At least my older kids. <laughs> strength. Will strength impart and banish? Okay, so that's the next word. Banish over here. And for banish, you're going to brush your arms. So we're going to, like, you're getting rid of something. You're just brushing off your clothes and banish. All right? And then you would go back and sing all of these, all these phrases with the actions. And if you can, you want to bring out the puppets. You know, we have the mouth. Cover the mouth. And then pray. Have them bow their head and question. That might be kind of hard. Uh, like we don't have shoulders. You can just shrug your own shoulders for the action. And then mouth, cover the mouth. And to know, you can point to their head and their heart. Make a heart. To understand or know, again, we're going to go to our, and then we're going to cover our mouth. So you really can do most of these with the puppets. And then show your, wiggle your hands. And then ears, we're going to cup our ears. And near, clasp hands near the heart. You know, it's interesting because that kind of looks like love. And if you love something, again, you're going to hold it near. So they're kind of, they kind of coincide, even though the words are different, but it's interesting. It's an interesting concept to think of, you know, love being the same thing as near. Like Christ loves us. He's, he's near. He's close. Okay, and then strength. Maybe just make your muscles because we can't really do <laughs> muscles with our puppets. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got strong. And then banish. So then they just would wipe. Wipe on each. All right. So that's kind of, that'll get you through the whole song with actions. And if you want, the children can stand when they do their action, if they're needing a little more movement. Um, Charla Dance would call these action word actions or gestures. So that's kind of gets... The kids moving a little bit and understanding what and understanding what they're singing bringing words onto their level all right so then you just want to make sure you bear testimony that joseph smith was able to get an answer to his prayer about what church to join by praying and like joseph we can know about heavenly father's will if we pray and ask him then display a picture of the current prophet if you like and i don't have one here but um just and know that the prophet also is another way to understand and know our Heavenly Father's will and that he communicates directly with our Heavenly Father as well. So he's a great source to look for. Anyway, so I hope that helps you teach this primary song in singing time. Let me know how it goes and I'd love to hear about it in the comments.